Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You've read by the title that I'm gonna shave my face for the first time. I'm so nervous for it but I kind of want to do it you know and because I don't have that much going on today I felt like I should vlog and it would be perfect to do it. Ignore this whatever this is it's kind of oily also so I feel like I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm also on my second day there's cramps there's back ache there is um, just ickiness <laughs> so I'm gonna go and take a bath first and then continue with the rest of the video I am back let's tackle this before we start the video because I'm not gonna be wearing makeup today I think so let's try and look cute <laughs> my hair in general is very frizzy by texture and uh, i'm just trying to tame it with hair products i've just come across the newly launched l'oreal paris extraordinary oil serum this is very lightweight and non-sticky as you guys know i've gone back and forth with coloring my hair i use heat on my hair on a daily basis like you can see all of this all of this is a result of all the heat that I apply on my hair almost every single day and you need something that is like very nourishing for your hair and that strengthens it, helps uh, prevent it from breaking and split ends. So it is pretty simple to use. I use it before I even style my hair but uh, on days that I wash my hair I use it right before I blow dry it or let it air dry today i'm gonna let it air dry because i have a lot of time so this is how i use it it has a pump so it's super easy to use and it, it's got that flip lock thing so if you flip it it's locked and i just take a very little amount that's it that is all i require for all of my hair just rub it in your palms and then go over all of your hair so i kind of just go in between because I've been using so much uh, heat on my hair, there is like a curl pattern that has formed in my hair. There are plenty of ways you can actually use it. You can use it after you wash your hair like I'm just doing it. You can use it before you style your hair which again that's one more way that I use it. I haven't tried this but you can use it as a mask at night. Like all you have to do is apply it on your hair and then you'll wake up with super soft hair. So that thing I have to try but... I've just applied it and can you see the instant difference in my hair and it feels so soft can you see my hands I have no product no sticky greasiness left in my hands it's all in my hair and you can see like it's it's worked it's magic let me show you a before and after of my hair just so you can see the difference see that that's so sleek like I said there are many different ways you can try it out all you need is just one pump it helps with the frizz by like 84 percent and it'll stay for like 24 hours it also helps your hair from breaking by up to 99 percent i would really recommend the l'oreal paris extraordinary oil for you guys to try it's super easy to use super affordable also if you guys want to try it i'm going to leave the link in the description and you can check it out and let me know your reviews once you do because i would love to see your feedback for the product as well because i'm seeing a lot of change i think for the hair i'm done for now i'm gonna let it air dry just because I want to see for the whole day you know how my hair does I'm super hungry right now I'm gonna quickly have lunch and then get back to you I don't know why but it took me an hour to set up to find like the perfect place to do this shaving thing because I was like where to keep my mirror I don't have perfect lighting where to keep my camera my camera won't fit and now I've found the place. I still don't know if you can clearly see what's about to happen because this is, yep, this is the best light I can find right now. It's almost 5 o'clock. I've set up like a palette mirror because I don't have a hand mirror. So sad. Okay. I'm really nervous. Step number one, get all the hair away from your face. Let me tell you, I have stayed up till 5.30 in the morning, last night, this morning, 
watching videos of how people shave their face. Every how-to video that I've watched only said that they love the result of it because your skin feels super smooth and super even. First, make sure you've washed your face and you've washed your hands and um, make sure you're above 18 because um, I feel like your skin is really sensitive uh, in the ages before that so I don't want you guys to risk it. I'm definitely the last person to the face shaving party because I was scared. I didn't know I was like how will your hair grow back. I've asked a bunch of people and all of them have said that their hair hasn't grown back thicker. That was my only concern because I was like Ab, ye bhi maintain kaise kare? I'm finally at the point where I'm fed up of it and I kind of want baby soft skin. And also I've heard that your makeup sits so well after you've done it which is what I'm actually very excited about because right now I'm in that phase where I'm doing my same makeup routine but it's, not, it's just not sitting properly on my face and I'm irritated. The razor I have here is this, it's actually a pretty, s sorry I have to post my YouTube video. Okay, I changed my hair again. We need to quickly get through this because my light, I'm losing daylight. So this is a very basic razor. It's got like a cap on it. And um, this was also pretty inexpensive. I got this on Nika. It took me a really long time to get my hands on it because for three months it was sold out. You can also get it on Amazon. I saw a lot of people who were applying oil on their face. But I'm not sure if I should do the oil thing. The tip that I learned from all the pro people was that you should just uh, slightly push your skin a little upwards. And then go at a 45 degree angle. Don't go khachuk with the razor. I'm also scared that I'm gonna cut myself. I have a feeling that that's gonna happen. But positive thoughts let's try and get this thing done i've also heard that your skin goes really red and you kind of get bumps which i'm mentally prepared for because i have very sensitive skin so let's see and i'm not gonna go over this one because this is like a new um, member that's joining us so i don't want to disturb this one and aggravate it because kal subay it'll be like mm, hello oh oh my god Oh my freaking god. Can you see that? Yaar, I hope you can see. Ew. <laughs> it looks like there's dhool coming out of my hair. Uh, on my forehead. <laughs> Too close. Too close to my eyebrow. Okay. Another tip that I um, heard in one of the videos is that if you are doing your eyebrow or your upper lip and you have like really black hair, that means that it's super thick. Don't directly go in with this. Use a tweezer first. Tweeze it out because if you go over this, that'll just cut the hair on the surface and then that ingrowth thing will be seen. You'll have like a stubble thing. Not gonna look cute. So it first. I'm not doing my eyebrow right now because anyway my eyebrows are very teda meda. But I'm not gonna remove the whole side lock bit because then it'll look very weird. I feel like for the first time I'm gonna keep it and then just go over the excess stuff. My god! This is gonna be the most satisfying bit. Here we go. I feel like I have new skin under there. I'm sorry if hair creeps you out or you find this very ganda. I'm sorry about that but I'm getting new skin. Oh. <laughs> it's all peach fuzz so if you have like really thin goldeny hair you can get rid of it. I don't know like one review that I saw said that if you have really thick hair don't try this because maybe it might grow thick but but it's super satisfying oh my god i'm so excited to do my makeup after this like i think tomorrow i'll do my makeup
the thing that's surprising me the most is that you can't really see the hair like the hair from here and over here only this part was visible but you can't really see stuff that's here and there's so much coming out khushi you want to see something really satisfying <laughs> let me show khushi wait it looks like leo <laughs> i know but it's so soft this side i'm done can you see yeah it looks softer does it look like new skin yeah it looks like baby. i'm a new person baby now baby skin <laughs> you want to see this side when mm. i do it it's so satisfying oh my god <laughs> can you see that <laughs> that's a <laughs> i'm collecting it <laughs> no face looks clean now thank you But oh my god, this hair is not getting over. Can you see how new the skin is? Like this part, you can see the hair, right? Mm-hmm. Here you can't see and see how much comes out. Can you see? <laughs> It's like you're removing a layer of dirt from your face. I'm not kidding. It looks like I'm dusting. and it's actually easy to use like i was thought i was scared about using it only oh my god my pigmentation is really going to be visible now if i get through this without cutting myself achievement i mean it looks so easy you think i'm not capable of doing something <laughs> difficult and i'm done the only thing i don't like is you know that stubble feeling i mean it's not that extreme but a little till bit when you go in the opposite direction but otherwise it's so freaking soft i'm super excited for two things um i'm super excited to see how my makeup goes on and then i want to see how this hair grows back and the texture of the hair although i've heard a lot of people say that nothing changes um but i want to see for myself okay so you can see much better in this light can you see this redness all of this redness all of oh, this side is really red okay i need to apply some aloe vera gel but here was my hair look away if you don't like seeing hair in general but it looks like dhool i'm not kidding it looks like dust like i've dusted a sofa or something and it's come out so otherwise it's really like the texture oof okay can you see all of that there's so much of it This was actually pretty satisfying. You can definitely give it a shot, but I will kind of update you on you know how my hair grows back and how I'm liking it and how my makeup sits in like the next video or something. Whatever the next video will be, I'll give you guys an update. Hey guys, so it's a little later and I actually put my hair up like this because I had to shoot. for a video but now i'm done me and kushi started watching the office a lot of people had recommended the show and i had watched it earlier and i didn't enjoy it and then today i really found it funny so we're already on season 2 uh, i thought i would end the vlog here also can you see my hair this is air dried without any heat i think i should do this every single day like if you know i was talking to you about how curly my hair is this is all the inside bits that are curly because i use heat on them i can't believe that i haven't used heat on my hair so yeah if you do want to try it out the l'oreal paris extraordinary oil it's all in the description check it out and i'm going to end the video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed also my face i have i've still got aloe vera gel on it uh, i'm going to rinse it off and then apply moisturizer but please be careful if you guys are trying and then don't use any products that have uh, glycolic or hyaluronic acid in them they will really irritate your skin try just try avoiding any products except for moisturizer if you do try to shave your face and then the remaining updates whether i feel like it's all bumpy and all i'll let you all know in the next vlog maybe and the shout outs for today go to sanya rajput 
because she just commented something really sweet. Thank you for that. Uh, Zainab, Abid and Ayushi Raj, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel guys. If you want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe and comment on this video telling me that you have. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Bye!